really there is options for medical classes from ips.tennessee.edu would be the only way everything a friend from got original ford f100 uh these radios were in the 57 through 60. this one's going in a 60. And we've completely redone it, repolished everything, redone all the lettering, polished the lens, brand new knobs, uh, repolished the back plates. And uh, it looks kind of funny with this thing here, but I, I put it up here. This is your trim ring. You got to have one of them to put it in. And hopefully I can find the diagram for the instructions of putting one in. I think I got it. And that's your trim ring, and this is your back bracket that comes with it. A uh, little radio's got a full conversion, Roar design. It's got AM and FM stereo. Four channels out, 45 watts a channel. It's got pre-outs on it if you want to add a little mini sub on the seat or something. That'll make one really come alive. Uh, USB port. This is your harness you're going to be getting. You can hide this or put it in a round hole. Or use the bracket, it all comes together. Uh, this will uh, USB port. Excuse me. <coughs> Pollen. This will charge your phone, your devices, play a thumb drive, which comes with it. Auxiliary in right above here, which is automatic. I'll show you how that works. Push button operated. This comes in handy for the radio. Bluetooth, hand-free phone calls, voice command, voice assistance. It's got voice ID. It'll scan station for you. It has built-in loudness and built-in EQ, which is a whole lot to say, ain't it? Anyhow, right now you're on FM. Anytime you want to know, it's, it's, these radios really light up good. I like the way they look. There's no need changing the dial. Anytime you want to know where you're at on FM, that little button you can uh, mount the cigarette lighter underneath the lip of dash, just push it. FM 89.9. That's called voice ID. Let's go to AM by turning it off and right back on. AM radio. AM 650. Back off and right back on. FM. Now you got your uh, toner control, which is trouble and bass. You have balance and fader built in there, depending on how many speakers you hook up. If you hook up one, it'll put everything in a motto speaker to shove it all in there. If you hook up two, you'll have balance. If you hook up three or more, you have balance and fader. You also have loudness and EQ and a crossover built in here. We're going to demonstrate it all. First thing we're going to do is go to fader. You can use the push button or that. This one works very well both ways. Let's go to fader and go to our back speakers by pushing it one quick time and holding it. Bluetooth ready to pair. I didn't push it good enough. One time, hold it. Fader adjust. Go to your toner control. There's your front speakers. There's your back speakers. Now that little popping you're hearing right there, that's the center of that pot. You want to balance it out where both all of them are equal. Just find that little and stop moving. She'll set it for you. Fader set. Now you can also do it with this control. Clockwise. One, two. Fader adjust. Right back into it. Rears, fronts. Stop moving and she'll set it. Fader set. You can go to your balance with this. Push once, hold it. Push twice and hold it down, go to balance. Or here, counterclockwise. One, two. Balance adjust. Right side, left side. Full control over your speakers. Balance set. Back on treble and bass. She's gonna come on in a minute and tell you Bluetooth's not connected. I put it in the uh, pairing mode. I'm not ready for that yet. Okay. We've gone through that. Now let's do auxiliary in. You'll get a mail to mail cord like this and uh you can find these on eBay or at your phone store because the new phones don't have headphone out jacks. 
and we're gonna put a phone on it, but you can plug in auxiliary in, you can put a satellite radio, XM radio, CD changers, your phone, MP3s, whatever you want to. I gotta have this for this one, it's a newer phone. Just plug this in, go to your music, and hit play. Happy birthday, baby. Oh, I love you so. Six. And that's how your auxiliary in works automatic. Radio sounds good. Anytime you want to come off auxiliary end, just hit off. You don't even have to unplug it. We're gonna unplug this. We're gonna move on in 20 seconds. If you don't touch the radio, it'll automatically change back to where we had it by itself. If you want to go a little quicker, turn it off and back on during that 20 seconds, like you're cycling from AM to FM. We're going to let it automatically change back. There it is. And don't forget, these radios, the blue wire in here in the harness that you're going to be getting on a lot of your aftermarket radios, that is continuous 12 volt to maintain a memory. These radios do not need that. So all these functions here, if you unplug it or change your battery, when you put it back on, it goes right back to where we had it. That's what I like about this product. Now we're going to pair our phone up. You'll do the same thing to yours. You want to do the initial pair up. It will take multiple devices. It'll always pick number one. So we're going to go to our phone. Let's go to settings. There's two ways to do it. You can hold this button down until she comes on to help you out or turn it up twice. Bluetooth ready to pair. Show the bottom phone. All you got is tap on it. She'll tell you when it's done. Pairing completed. Bluetooth connected. All right, now we'll connect it up. You got a mic that you can plug in. I don't put mics in front of these because it would involve drilling a hole in this. I like the way they look. You got a mic on the extendable. You can run it anywhere you want to in your cab. Get it closer to you. We're going to do a voice command. You can tell now that we've actually lit up. We're connected. Uh, we can hold this down and bring your phone up and call home, look up restaurant, whatever your smartphone's capable of doing. You can do it by turning the knob up twice. Play music. I'm stronger than a locomotive. Yeah. It's designed so you don't have this in your hands, so just pretend we don't have it, but I got it up here so you can see what it does. But I can't understand. You can advance your music here or here. Press it once, go forward. Twice to back up a repeat. Use your tuning knob up, one click. Back. That way you got your phone not in your hand. You can control your music, whatever you want to do from here. Now, a uh, phone call comes in. She'll come on and say, incoming call. You'll hear it ring. You press this one time, answer your call, or turn your needle up one click. Answer your call, talk. When you're done, just let the phone hang up by itself. It'll go back to doing whatever you had the radio doing. Bluetooth will override everything the radio's doing. You don't have to have it on a certain part of the dial or nothing to have Bluetooth. I'm stronger than a locomotive. Yeah. That old saying is true. But I can't understand sometimes, baby. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn the unit off, do a little test. And if you got your phone paired up and you get in your truck, we want it to go to radio and then say Bluetooth connected. And it should go right back to the song that I was playing. That's what we want it to do. Radio. Bluetooth connected. 
For you. Right back to where I left. Listen. I can leave tall buildings. Stop music. Pause right back to radio. That's what we want. Works very good. All right. USB, you're going to get one of these with this video on it, so you can drag it off, put it on your computer. There'll be a file on here named Music. Have a bunch of redneck stuff in there. You can always pull it off and put yours on there. Plug it in, go straight to it. Operate the same way as you did your phone. Advance. Twice to back up a repeat. Now, if you hide this thing, the only time you got to take this out if you want to charge your phone or put it in a new thumb drive. You don't have to be taking it in and out. You want to put it in pause, there's two ways of doing it. We went up on the volume for Bluetooth, go down twice, put that in pause. Put it in pause right back to radio. We can do it with a push button, too. Back to thumb drive. One second here. Pause. Back to radio. Back to thumb drive. Love you all the time. I'm just a Now, whatever you like to listen to, your phone, USB, whatever. The controllers for loudness and your EQ, once you get everything set up and you set up your speakers, you, you can turn it on and off. You can turn it off and on with the push button or with this. We're going to turn it on. All you do is that's wide open treble. Back it up a little bit. Go one, two, three. Loudness off. EQ off. One more time. One, two, three. Loudness on. One, two, three. That's counterclockwise. EQ on. Clockwise. EQ. Clockwise. Adjust. Treble. Adjust. Now we're going to set our treble up. DB. Let her set it. Treble set plus one. Clockwise. DB. Treble adjust. Clockwise. Mid adjust. Let's set our mids DB. up. DB. Some people like a lot of mids, I don't. Mid set zero dB. Clockwise. Mid adjust. Clockwise. Zero. Let's set our bass up for adjust. our speakers. Zero dB. Bass set zero dB. Clockwise. Bass adjust. Clockwise. Zero deep loudness. Now we set adjust. our loudness up for when we turn it on. Depends on how loud you want it. Don't get that little pop in the center of that. There we go. Loudness set plus eight dB. Right. Loudness. Clockwise. Adjust. Plus. Now we just set up our subwoofer if you've got one plugged DB. in. Subwoofer. Subwoofer set. Now let's go into our crossover. Once. Subwoofer adjust. Clockwise. Crossover, crossover. adjust. 120 hertz. I like mine a little on the flat side. Crossover set 85 hertz. Now you're done. Now you've got everything set up. You can turn it off and turn it on. And you can do it here or here. One, two, three, hold. I've got them on USB. Go back to radio. No matter who we are. 
One, two, three, hold. EQ set. One, two, three, hold. EQ on. One, two, three, hold. Loudness off. EQ off. Now we're back to normal. So we can turn it on and off. It depends on how, how you want it to sound. You can actually set it up for your phone or USB. If you're in the truck by yourself, you can really jam out. This is going in a 1960 F100. Cleaned up, polished, got the ring, everything goes with it. This up my phone. Huh? And I appreciate you letting me do it for you. Thank you.